don't know why, but I feel compelled to jump off ledges. Just I, I just want to know if there's, there's actual invisible walls here or not. So let's uh, we'll sort of speed through that then. If this thing ever loads, here we go. All right, so we'll just. I, uh, I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me. Holy shit! It's been forty-five minutes already. Cops wouldn't scare I've done nothing. And they had Alice. Damn! Not a lot's happened in this episode, has it? Gonna have to switch discs soon. I haven't found a single freaking zombie. Oh wait, wait! If we restarted, I should be able to see what the scary shit was this time. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Doctor. Later. Not flights to conserve energy. Okay, hopefully I may be able to see the scary shit this time. If it happens again. <sighs> whoa, 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 what's going on? Okay, was that my head pounding, or was that, uh... Was that something else? An earthquake. Up! Up, Ryder! Up! Around, that works too. Uh, Moonshine Cave, Lover's Peak, Elderwood Nature Trail. The hell? Well, how do you get into it? There's no door. Uh, here's the door. How did you park that there? How did you park with the only door facing directly against, like, practically flush against the wall? How do you get in there? I mean, I guess you're not, but... Alright. Ryder, kick! TV time, TV time, TV time! Please be another episode, please. Yes! Awesome. Right. Taking a break, watching the show. The cancer and cure of civilization. <clears throat> but some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Can I zoom in on it, please? All right. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? Did it come in? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? You punched a guy to death? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I, I don't understand any of this. Neither do I.
That's awesome! Oh, where's the narrator? Oh, well. That was cool, I liked that. Okay, so, so far, what we've gotten done in this episode. Um, bit of story. Found a splattering of blood. Where did that come from? Uh, watched an episode of Night Springs. Uh, talked to our editor slash best friend. And, uh, now we're on our way to go actually do something for once. And there's a bunch of crows somewhere around here. Alrighty then. Uh, telephone? Nope. Uh, hiking trail. Here we go. Do not feed wildlife. $100 penalty. And there's a manuscript page! No. Rose and Rusty. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Okay, so she's shallow. Looks like there's a lot of manuscript pages gonna be up here, so I've gotta keep an eye out. So there's another one over there, too. I'm actually fairly good about finding things, especially collectibles in these games. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Ew. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Shoot it! Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake. It happened just the way it was on that page. Okay. Let's see what we're going on here. Uh, fallen Rock Zone. And my controller goes nuts. Okay. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Rusty, damn. Rusty, hang on! Oh God, I'm coming! Please, help me! I'm on my way! Don't worry, I'm sure I'll get there just after the nick of time! Whoa! What happened here? Oh, 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 oh! The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. With his fading breath, he screamed out that he did not want to die a virgin. And then a large hairy man appeared. Alright, alright, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. The ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Or we could climb in through the window, it's clearly already been broken out. Or we could shoot out the window! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, somebody totaled their jeep. That takes skill. Hello, back here. I'm back 
I want that thing to come alive and become a boss. That'd be awesome. I'm here. Mr. Wake? Hi. Oh hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. Funny, you just said that. Shoot it. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Just let me shoot the dog. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. <clears throat> Why is it not shooting? What? No. I can't shoot it! Why can't I shoot it? I can't pull the trigger! He won't shoot! Oh, bullshit! The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Uh, all right. Ta-da! Let's see here. There's the manuscript page. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. All right. Open door. And what am I looking for in here? Pick up revolver ammo and batteries. Um I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! Hang on, Rusty! Friday's coming! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Burn it away! Oh shit. Please tell me it didn't infect the dog. Oh hey. Ow. Bam! Bam! Awesome. Uh, some of you guys actually said that the uh, flashlight thing, actually, uh, the quick reload battery thing, actually comes in handy when you deal with smaller and with uh, lots of enemies. And I can see how that'll work, but for these earlier levels, not a bit of a problem. It's uh. See if that dog I have to shoot. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Hmm. I want it to be a boss. I really do. I want to fight a giant dark man, dark mammoth. Oh, uh, probably not. All right, uh, I gotta switch discs here for a second, so I gotta record more. So uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>